Yo, what's going on, everybody? Welcome back to Comic Books NYC. Uh, it's going to be a quick, eclectic comic book haul video. Uh, I don't often go live right in the middle of the day, but uh, I have off from work today, and I uh, thought I would sneak in this haul before, uh, before I uh, ran out of time to do it today. So I am doing it live uh, right here in the middle of the day. So hopefully you guys can... Uh, Catch us on the Rewind if you're not able to catch it live. Um, either way, appreciate you watching. I do have a 800 subscriber uh, contest uh, or giveaway uh, currently going on. You can check out the video on the channel. All you have to do to enter is uh, leave a comment. Uh, so pretty easy. Uh, but I'm going to get right into the haul uh, as quickly as I can here. And then uh, we'll wrap things up. So first up... Um, I love these Bronze Age DC Comics Phantom Stranger issues, uh, and this one is no different. This is Phantom Stranger issue number 25. I love that cover, man. Uh, this is a Louis Dominguez cover. Uh, this book came out in uh, 1973, but uh, awesome, awesome Phantom Stranger cover right there. Um, one of my favorites. What's going on, uh, Scott Evans? Good to see you. Thanks for stopping in. I'm just kind of doing this in the middle of the day, uh, which is a little unusual for me. But uh, hey, whatever. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna roll with it. Show show this all of comics, starting with this incredible uh, Phantom Stranger book right here, issue number 25. So really happy to have that uh, add that to the collection. Uh, another cool DC Bronze Age horror pickup recently is House of Secrets uh, 103 classic. Uh, Bernie Wrightson cover right there, from 1972. Um, love that House Secrets 20 Center classic Wrightson cover. It's copies had a little bit of a little bit of like a chipping or something in the corner, but hey, whatever. Uh, other than that, really really nice copy. Glad to have that in the collection. So from some Bronze Age DC horror to some uh, Marvel Bronze Age. Horror with this uh, Chamber of Chills, issue number five. Really like that cover. That's a Rich Buckler cover, Tom Palmer Inks, 1973. Uh, Marvel Chamber of Chills, Bronze Age goodness right there. Check that out. Really cool. So definitely some underrated covers uh, in this title as well. And uh, happy to have that, uh, get that one into the collection. Uh, next up, we have a Silver Age book uh, with a Russ Heath cover. Now, th there's some great dinosaur covers in this title. This is Star Spangled War Stories. So this is Star Spangled War Stories issue number 135. Late Silver Age, 1967. Uh, awesome, awesome Russ Heath cover here with, uh, you have the, the, the soldiers on the beach, uh, one with the Japanese flag, one with the, the American flag, uh, and they are uh, aligning to battle these dinosaurs uh, together, these three dinosaurs um, on, on, the, uh, on the beachfront. So pretty damn cool cover, uh, classic Russ Heath, Silver Age, uh, and I'm always a sucker for a uh, dinosaur. Uh, in general, uh, on the cover or otherwise. So uh, pretty happy to have that one as well. Next up, we have this issue. This is actually the first issue of Joe Palooka of this character or this title that I've ever uh, picked up. This is Joe Palooka, issue number 54. So there you go. Pretty sweet right there. Uh, yeah, right. Everyone loves the dino. Everyone versus the dinosaurs on that uh, on that previous cover. So this is an Al Abison cover. Uh, this book was published in 1951, Harvey Comics. Um, so there you go. Broke my Joe Palooka cherry right there. Never had a Joe Palooka title, so this is my, my first one. Uh, happy to add that to the collection. Uh, I've been kind of on an Archie kick. As of late, I've been adding more and more Archies, especially sort of early Silver Age uh, and, and Golden Age, if I can find it, get a good deal on it. Uh, this is actually Golden Age, late Golden Age, 1953, Laugh Comics, number 56, with a uh, great Bill Vigoda, uh, Veronica cover right there. Uh, you can see Jughead. How do you like Veronica's figure eight, Arch? And then he goes, I like her figure with any number, Jug. <laughs> I love that joke. Um, 
but uh but yeah another cool uh late golden age pickup with a bill of a go to cover from 1953 uh to the slowly thing art collection that i have going. so happy to have that um uh, in the collection as well and um, one more archie pickup in this haul this is betty and veronica annual number four now this is early silver age 1956 i don't know who the cover artist is possibly the goda um but, but not confirmed. Can't So if anybody is aware, if there's a confirmed cover artist for this particular issue, uh, let me know in the comments below. But happy to have this. This is my first Betty and Veronica annual. And uh, it is from the very early Silver Age, 1956, uh, and features this cover with both Betty and Veronica on the phone, uh, talking to each other. Obviously, uh, Archie double booked his date. Uh, as Archie would do. So happy to have that in the collection. Uh, what's up? Oh, Scott, I've been saying he's looking at some OA right now. Nice, dude. Um, I've got some stuff I might be bidding on on Heritage tonight. We'll see how it goes. What's what's up, Mr. Garrell in the house? Good to see you, man. Thanks for stopping in. I'm just kind of showing a haul here uh, that I haven't gotten around to showing uh, in the middle of the day because I have the day off from work today. So May as well do it now. Uh, next up, I have Police Comics number 110. So this is, I believe, uh, you know, post-Policeman Police Comics, um, 1951. This is a Reed Crandall cover. I just love that cover. I think it's like, I think it's just, you know, it's got a lot of cool factors to it. You got the crime, the guns, the punching action. You got the good girl art. She's got like a shoe. She's going to try to take this guy out with her high heel or something like that. Anyway, pretty weird, but pretty awesome at the same time. What's up, BTC Moon guy? He says, did your vids, great art and comics. Thank you for that. I appreciate you uh, sharing that comment. But, yeah, pretty pretty stoked with this cover. Uh, not a book really you see that often, so uh, I, I snagged that one. Uh, police Comics number 110 from uh, 1951. Got another police comics issue. This is a Jack Cole. This is a this is a classic Plastic Man cover, in my opinion. I love this cover. Police Comics number seventy six. Uh, Jack Cole, nineteen forty eight. This copy's got a little bit of like sun, you know, sun damage and just like kind of like browning in spots and things like that. Not 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 a perfect copy by any means, but presents really well especially in these Mylars, so I, I'm, I'm digging it. Honestly, I love this giant Plastic Man head on this cover, so Classic Jack Cole right here. Uh, yo, what's up, Biggie Shack? <laughs> yes, definitely some oldies in this haul, uh, but I really, really dig that Jack Cole uh, Police Comics cover right here. Um, for for a book of, uh, of this age, 72 years old, it presents really damn well, uh, and, uh, you know, uh, Jack Cole... One of the one of the greats, um, especially when it comes to this character. So, pretty sweet. Pretty happy with that. And then the slab of the hall is also a uh, police comics. This is police comics number 15, 1943. Uh, Gil Fox cover. And what makes this key is that this is the first uh, spirit cover on a comic book. So there it is, police comics number 16, or number 15 rather, but in a 6.0. So CBCS 6.0, uh, <laughs> almost looks like gumballs. Yeah, kind of. I think he's talking about this one. Um, but yeah, dude. Uh, but I'm pretty happy with that. As you can see, there's the first uh, cover appearance right there of the spirit. Kind of hard to see. Sorry about that. But also a classic uh, Plastic Man cover uh, in its own right. So really, really happy to have that one. Uh, that's probably the highlight of this particular haul. Um, yeah, actually, Comic Tom does have this book um, sort of in his in the background of some of his videos, like in front of a short box or something like that. Uh, like, I think when they record videos in his garage, like one of the books that you can see behind him is this is this book. Uh, what's up, Geeks? He says he's at work, but he'll catch a replay. Yeah, no worries, brother. Um, I have off from work today, so I'm just kind of taking advantage of this uh, time in the middle of the day to just show a haul video that I haven't been, uh, I've just been lazy about, frankly. I should have gotten around to this video earlier, but I'll do a quick recap now that we're, uh, 
last sort of five minutes in here, and there's a few people in the chat. So this is the first book in the hall, Phantom Stranger, number 25, L Louis Dominguez. Fucking, I love that cover. Uh, 1973, Bronze Age DC horror goodness. More Bronze Age DC goodness right here, House of Secrets. Bernie Wrightson, goodness, love that. So that's issue uh, 103, House of Secrets. Another awesome 20 center, Marvel Bronze Age horror this time, Chamber of Chills number five. That's a uh, Rich Buckler, Tom Palmer cover. Uh, yeah, dude, I, those Phantom Strangers are so good, man. So good. Uh, some of these Chamber of Chills uh, from the Bronze Age and Marvel are really, really cool too. Um, underrated in my opinion. Uh, so dig that one. And then this, Silver Age, Star Spangled War Stories, uh, 135. This is a Russ Heath dinosaur with uh, Japanese and American soldiers teaming up to take down dinosaurs right here. Uh, yeah, dude, that 103 is a killer rights and cover. Um, definitely, and a great black cover. Um, but here's a, here's a Russ Heath cover right here, Star Spangled War Stories, 135. Um, just a real, just a gem of a book, in my opinion, 1967. I really would like to find more books from this title because there are a lot more. Uh, there's, there's some more dinosaur covers in this, in this title. So I'm, gonna be, I'm, I'm on the lookout for, for some of these. Uh, then my first Joe Palooka, Joe Palooka, 1950, uh, not 1954, number 54 from 1951. This is an Al Abison cover. Uh, yo, what's up? Hi, Leia in the house. Good to see you, brother. Biggie says that war books are undervalued. Yeah, I agree with that. I agree with that. Uh, so here's my first uh, Joe Palooka, Al Avison, 1957. Laugh Comics, right here. Laugh Comics, uh, I, uh, you know, Archie title. This is issue number 56. Yeah, number 56, Bill Vigoda, 1953. So more Golden Age uh, Archie. Uh, oh, nice, dude. You got a, almost got a Palooka. Sweet, dude. Um, I've, you know, it took me a while to pull a trigger on getting one, but that was the first one I've ever gotten. Uh, but really dig this. Um, you know, I've kind of been on an Archie kick as of late. Here's another Archie. Uh, Betty and Veronica Annual number 4, 1956. So very early Silver Age. Still trying to figure out who the cover artist is on these. Uh, thank you, Hyley. Appreciate that. So beautiful books. Uh, so there you go, Betty and Aunt Veronica Annual number four. Um, and Police Comics 110. Reed Crandall cover. Love this. High heel violence, I guess, is about to ensue. Uh, yo, what's up, Jack B in the house? Good to see you, Jack B. Uh, but that's a really, really, really sweet cover, Police Comics. Then got some classic man goodness from Police Comics 1948, Jack Cole. Police Comics number 76. And then the bigger book of the whole, Police Comics 15, the first comic book uh, cover for the spirit right there. There he is. Uh, don't mind him, I'm the spirit. Uh, and an awesome Classic Man cover uh, from 1943. This is in a CBCS 6.0. I love the old stuff too, brother. Um, you and me both. So, uh, I'm curious about the back cover. I always dig looking at these Golden Age back covers. So this is, like I said, the first uh, spirit cover on a comic book. Also, the death of a character named 711 that becomes Destiny and the first appearance of Destiny in Cameo. So, um, yeah, dude, this, is, this has kind of been on my list for a while. Just uh, needed to come across the right you know, copy for the right price and all that. Uh, uh, <laughs> Mr. Carroll. No, I think I, <laughs> I don't know if I'm young. I'm not old, but I'm not young. So you guys can you guys can guess my age if you want to. But uh, but yeah, dude, I, that that's that's the big book of the hall. Pretty stoked, especially on these last two pickups right here. Uh, and just you know, just some nice eclectic books. I called this an eclectic comic haul. It's a little bit of a little bit uh, you know all over the place. Not specific per se, but um, all really, really cool books that I've been happy to pick up. Uh, as you know, I think I think some of these books I got more than six weeks ago or something. I just haven't gotten around to doing that particular haul video. 
so yeah, man, that's it. Um, I still have my 800 subscriber giveaway video up, as I said uh, at the start. Hopefully, some of you guys can go check that out. All you have to do to enter is leave a comment. There are three prize packs, a uh, bunch of slabs I'm giving away. Every single prize pack is also going to have extra books in it based on who wins. I'll probably, you know, we'll wait until, you know, the winners are uh, drawn, and then I will throw in some extra books that make sense for those people, uh, and I will get those prize packs out. You have now until July 7th to go over to the contest video and uh, leave a comment if you want to enter. Um, I might be back either later today or tomorrow with some unboxings. I have some stuff that's kind of just been sitting around that I haven't unboxed yet, and I'd love to actually you know, unbox them and share them with you guys. Uh, but then I'm going to be out of town for like three, four days uh, while I have off this week. So I might, you know, kind of be MIA after Tuesday for a few days, uh, but then I'll be back probably hopefully by the weekend. Uh, we shall see. So that's kind of what I have going on. Uh, thanks for hanging out. Um, hope, hopefully you guys, um, uh, uh Hopefully you guys enjoyed that haul. What's up, Patrick Wall in the house? Good to see you. Thanks for stopping by, Patrick. Uh, hopefully you guys can catch the rewind if you missed it. Uh, and I will catch you soon um, for the next video. Later, guys.